Hey everybody, welcome to this video where I'm going to go over how to access Google Keyword Planner without needing to create a Google ad and without needing to put in your credit card. The very first thing you want to do is access your Google account. If you're not already in your Google account, simply go to accounts.google.com and just select the account you want to work with. The next step is going to the URL ads.google.com. You'll see a page that looks like this. Essentially, all you want to do is go to the upper right and click on the Start Now button. On the next page, it's going to ask you for your business name. So just go ahead, put your business name in, and then click the button on the bottom right, which says Next. On this page, you want to put your website URL. And I just want you to know that you can put in the URL of your home page, any page on your website, or even any of your landing pages. So go ahead, enter that, and then click the Next button. On this page here, essentially Google's just showing you a preview of the page that you entered the URL for. So go ahead, just look that over. You could view it in mobile or desktop, doesn't matter. And go ahead and click the next button. And this is where the magic happens because I really want you to get this part right. So just, I want you to ignore everything and all the options you see on this page, except where I pointed the arrows. That's the only part I want you to look at where it says, switch to expert mode. Go ahead and click where it says switch to expert mode. Now this page could also be a little bit tempting because there's lots of things to look at and lots of things you might want to click on, but please do not. We do not want to start that Google ad. So all you're going to do is ignore everything. You're going to go to the bottom left and you're going to click where it says create an account without a campaign. And there you have it. You successfully created your Google ads account without needing to start a Google ad. Yay. So don't go away yet. I still need to show you how to access your Google keyword planner. So what you want to do now is click where it says explore your account. So go ahead and click that. Now on this page, you are going to have to enter some information, but that's okay. Don't worry. This will not start up your Google ad. This is just something that Google will keep just in case in future you decide to give Google ads a go. So go ahead, fill out your billing country, your currency, your time zone. That's it. When you're done, go ahead and click that blue button that says submit. Now on this page, you're actually on the back end of your brand new Google ads account, which is great. So you've got a few options, but we want more options because in this view, you will not be able to access Google Keyword Planner. So we're going to take one more step or almost there. So what you're going to do is click on that wrench that says settings is going to give you a drop down menu and you're going to click on the very last choice, which says switch to expert mode. And now you can see that your view changes and you've got a lot more options. So what you're going to do is head over to that wrench symbol again. And now instead of saying settings, it says, what does it say? It says tools and settings. And then it's going to give you a whole bunch of different things to look at. So you could go back in there and check out all those other tools at some other point, but right now, we just want to access that Keyword Planner. So go ahead and click on Keyword Planner. And voila, you have done it. You've successfully created your Google Ads account, and now you're able to access Google Keyword Planner. Congratulations, this is very exciting because keywords, trust me, are the most important thing you could do before you do any online marketing. So absolutely, I want you to get in there. I want you to use it. I want you to practice with it. And you know, if you have any questions, if you've successfully gotten in there, if you're successfully using keywords after that, whatever, I really, really want to know. Leave me a comment. If you've enjoyed this video and how simple I tried to make this for you, <laughs> let me know. I love knowing this stuff. It makes it so worthwhile to do videos like this for you guys. Um, the other thing I want to just quickly mention is if you're using your Google keywords in order to build a Google My Business account for Google Maps, absolutely check out the description below because I've included one of my courses that teaches you how to do that step by step. It's one of the top ranking courses in the world right now um, because people are getting results with it. I've got thousands of students in it. They're giving me some great comments of what they've been able to do and achieve. Um, so, you know, go check it out. Go because it'll might inspire you to get your Google Maps account either optimized or to get you to start one because Google Maps is so incredibly powerful 
And it's just one example of the many places and ways that you could use those Google keywords that you've just been able to discover. All right, so go ahead and check that out. So thank you again for watching this video. Do not let this knowledge go to waste. Absolutely get in there. Do this right away. It's only a few minutes. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. <laughs>